We've got some light rain that's already moved in. Live Doppler 13 radar. Not overly widespread just yet, but I do expect the rain to pick up in intensity and coverage area as we get deeper into the afternoon and as the cold front gets closer. We are in the warm sector of this weather system. What I mean by that is we've had a warm front come through, so temperatures are up by 12 degrees from this time yesterday, but notice here comes that cold air. It's not too far away from us out west, and that's what's going to be moving in later tonight as the cold front passes. It is 62 degrees in St. Louis right now. We're not going to get quite that warm. We sit at 50 right now in Indy. Most of us get back into the low to mid 50s this afternoon before that colder air takes back over. We also have that wind advisory that got issued early this morning from the National Weather Service. That's going to be in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. Or I should say 11 o'clock tonight. I know it says only western parts of the state, but everybody is going to get in on these 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts through the course of the day. And not only will that blow things around in your yard, but we're also keeping an eye on the potential for down branches and tree limbs and that could lead to some isolated power outages. So a good idea to keep your phone charged as well. Here we go over the next several hours into the afternoon today. I want to pause getting into 10 1030. This is when the boundary is actually going to come through and within this line of showers and thunderstorms, we could get isolated 55 plus mile per hour wind gusts. Now as this boundary moves through, finally over the overnight hours, we'll start to see the winds calming a bit. At least it uh, is not going to be as windy as we're expecting here today. Here's 5 p.m. Some stray showers still hanging around, but the heaviest of the rain arrives right here at 10 o'clock in the evening embedded within this again. Lightning thunder possibility not expecting severe weather. It's just those strong wind gusts that we're concerned with. Temperatures will drop rapidly once this front comes through already down to 27 degrees in Lafayette by 2 a.m. And with this colder air taking over, there is the potential that this will change over to a brief wintry mix 2 a.m. through the early morning hours on Christmas Eve, and then eventually the drier air winds out. Temperatures drop all the way back into the upper teens across portions of central Indiana, and we're going to hold steady in the mid 20s throughout uh, Christmas Eve afternoon. Yes, there will be some sunshine, but we'll also have some lake enhanced light snow showers. Not going to accumulate, but could put some flurries in the air for your uh, Christmas Eve afternoon. The actual air temperature in the 20s, wind chill values in the teens, but the coldest of the wind chill values arrives as we get into early Christmas morning. Check this out. It's cold as eight below in Indy on Christmas morning. The air temperature 10, and we're only up to 21 for a high Christmas day. That's the coldest Christmas in about 16 years. We warm back up this weekend, 45 on Sunday with rain moving in late in the day. That lingers into a wintry mix early Monday morning.